What's going on guys, David Fala here and before we start the tutorial I just want to say thank you to everyone that has voted for me for the Barber Grammy Award. Uh, honestly guys it means a lot for those of you that haven't voted. I got nominated to win this prize so if you have uh, 10 seconds just go ahead and click on the link in the description and you can vote for me and I will forever be grateful. So let's go ahead and start the video. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to wet the hair and we're going to section out the top using a horseshoe parting. Um, you do not have to section the hair the way I do. Um, I receive this question a lot. You don't have to. I just make do it because it makes it easier for me. I just work in sections and it makes me more productive. And, you know, and I don't get lost when I'm doing a haircut, like especially when it's like longer lens. It's the same thing when you do in a fade and then you create a, your first guide and then you create another guide and then it's kind of the same thing. So the first thing we're going to do after we part the hair, it's uh, kind of we're going to take a blood graduation uh, party. And so pretty much it's going to be a guide for us to know uh, what we're going to keep longer and what and from there we're going to cut shorter. Uh, you want to pull the hair 90 degrees from that horseshoe parting that we created and then you just kind of measure it kind of like knowing that okay if you cut it too short then the hair is going to spike up if you do it too long it's okay because you can always cut it right so just be careful not to make this too short because the, once you cut it there's nothing you can do and then the hair is going to spike up right so just keep that in mind uh, we're going to do this all around the head and after we're done we're going to go ahead and start fading so the, but the bottom we're going to do a number one uh, this clipper is i never adjusted the clipper it just the straight out of the box and so because of it uh, when it's wide open that means that the lever is down um, it's gonna be a one it's gonna be a number one so just uh, that's why the reason why I'm using it if you adjust the clipper then it's not gonna be a number one anymore it's gonna be something different so just be careful with that uh, you know like I had tried um, measuring this and at the same time uh, using kind of like detachable number one and it's the same uh, the same measurements so just that's how I know but you know just make sure if you adjusted it then don't forget not to use it as a one because it's not gonna be a one it's gonna be less like a half or whatever depends on why, how much you move that so anyways guys we're gonna go ahead and use a number four now we're gonna do it with the lever uh, open first and now you can see like I'm using kind of like a uh, vlog graduation guide to like not go above that right I'm, I'm staying under that and it's because we want to maintain that weight uh, that we created well, with scissors first and then we're gonna fade from there uh, down. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and close that lever and then we're gonna go ahead and switch to number three and then we're gonna continue that process of down fading. So I always down fade, uh, that's just the style. It's not the best way to do it. It's not the only way to do it, it's just the way I do it. You can do it however you want. This just makes it easier for me. So here I'm using clipper over comb just to kind of start um, kind of fading uh, that that weight into what I'm trying to create on the on the on the on the fade <laughs> to, to say it like that but yeah like you know like when you're trying to uh sometimes when you're fading you start creating um you start pushing that weight up and you create like a very harsh um kind of uh, weight line around the perigeal ridge so you don't want to i mean sometimes you want to leave it there that's fine but sometimes you don't want to right it just depends on the hairstyle you create so what you're going to do with the clipper over comb is kind of soften that uh, the hair there so it's not you don't like it's there but you don't see it you don't notice it as as much you know it's not like a very harsh uh, line so you know it depends uh, there's nothing wrong with leaving it like that if that's the style you're going for great but in this case the client was not going for that style so we have to soften that that weight so that weight line so anyway here we're going to use a one and a half so we already used the two with the lever um open and now we we use a number one and a half with the lever open then we're going to close it a little by little and then just continue with that process. Then we're gonna do a one, and then we're gonna do a zero. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch uh, what we're doing, and then I'll come back once we're done with the fade. Okay, so we are done with the frame. Now we're gonna start shaping up the, the client. Um, pretty much what we're gonna do is we wanna follow those uh, 
kind of natural hairline, right? You want to follow it. You, we don't want to push it back too much. If you have to tell your client, talk to your client, let them know that you're going to push back your, the hairline because, you know, it will look better or whatever, you know, whatever the, the case is. But always make sure the client is aware of it. You don't want you don't want the client to find out home that you know like he's, he's missing like half of the i don't know sideburn or or the back is like really really thin you know like you're gonna make sure that he knows and uh you know like he's not gonna get surprised at home so you know i always keep, uh, keep it natural and then you know uh I tell the client if you want to sharper then i have to push it back and then that's it so here remember when i talk about like kind of like making that weight line like a little bit softer so this is what i'm doing right right here with the shears i kind of like this a little bit better with the machine uh, the machine sometimes it still leaves the the weight line like very sharp so we sometimes want to kind of soften that so here i'm using thinning shears just because this client has a lot like you know he has thick hair he has a lot of hair in that area so i want to soften that also like the you know he has a, a couple of indents and in, and in on his head it's just the head shape that's the way it is so i'm trying to light up those 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 uh parts right there and you know that's that's what you're going to do like with certain head shapes depending on the head shape you might not want to like uh light up so much of the dark spots because then you can create a hole so even if from the side you see and it looks good the fade then from the front it's going to look like it's missing like it, you know there's an indent on the fade so you want to be very careful with that well anyways on the top uh all i'm doing i'm taking horizontal sections and i'm just following that section all the way to the back and starting with the front just make sure you leave the front longer so you over direct the front uh, you over direct it back a little bit just because you want to preserve a lot of the the fringe and you want you don't want to cut it too short especially the client is going to style his hair back or to the side or whatever you want to preserve as much as you can there so uh, you can see i'm pulling everything uh, 90 degrees from the floor that means that we, i'm creating a square shape on the top and for most guys this is the way it's going to be like you know you want to create a square shape on top so here i'm just uh, cross checking using vertical sections now every time you cut uh, horizontal you, you want to cross check vertical or vice versa you know they are always cross check guys i know it takes like two minutes more but it's very important that you make sure that your client's hair is the way that it should be that's what makes a, a barber being great and not being average you know you double check your work you make sure that when the client is home he's not going to get any surprises it's extremely important because that's what's going to make a client come back and trust you right because they know that it doesn't matter uh if they pay attention or not to the haircut like in this case my client is watching tv right but you know like he knows that you know the day you know when he gets home he's gonna be happy with his haircut and that's all it really matters guys um and i just want to make sure that you guys understand that because a lot of clients sometimes uh, you know like they go home and they get you know surprises on their hair because maybe it's not what they asked for or because the barber styled it a certain way and it just didn't look like that after so you want to make sure that you know make you make it easier for the client to style you make it easier uh, uh the regrow though the, uh, the haircut is is nice so the hair actually the haircut takes longer to grow and it grows nicely and you know it's extremely important so anyways guys we uh, already dried the top a little bit and uh, now we're gonna work on the beard so the beard we're just gonna use a number two uh, you can see i'm using a lot of um kind of like using it with the green just because i don't want to remove that much from it and all i'm gonna do is kind of fade the sideburn part and uh using the same um card whatever i'm, I'm fading with to kind of remove some of the long hairs like we are not trying to remove a lot of the the fade uh, you can see i'm just kind of like i just need to fade that that south uh the sideburn and that's about it so you can use clipper over comb i'm using it here I'm using number one guard and then just kind of like using the corners just to uh blend that into the cyber and that's it guys you know you want to preserve a lot of beer if the client's letting it grow or you're just sculpturing the beer you don't want to remove a lot of it you just want to remove what you need to like the long hairs or whatever is out of place and that's about it so we're gonna go ahead and shape up the the forehead i usually start in center and work my way out this is the way i do it uh, you can do it um, there's many many ways to do it uh, always make sure you check the mirror guys sometimes when you're looking at a shape up it might look good and then you look in the mirror and it's like oh cricket so 
just make sure that you you should always always use your mirror or ask your client you know like sometimes you need a, a second pair of eyes you know you ask your client does it look good does it look a little bit lower here or whatever and then the client will tell you straight up you know i mean it's their hairline you know they want their haircut to look perfect so they will tell you the same thing with the with the neck right like here i'm keeping the neck as low as i can the same thing like you know i'm kind of starting right in the middle and then i'm working my way out and always look in the mirror always 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 look in the mirror um, in the mirror because you want to make sure that that line is straight if that line is straight then it's way easier to do the rest of the beard i feel like that's kind of like the the line that needs to be perfect and then everything else is going to uh, fall into place when that line is crooked then the size of the rest of the beard is going to be crooked and then you're going to be fixing here and there and then you're going to take forever so just take your time with that line uh, with, the, with that first line on the neck and then you'll see how everything makes it so much easier so here i'm using the razor i'm, I'm stretching the skin 45 degree angle and then um just kind of not putting a lot of pressure you just want to let the blade do what it does best right you don't want to if you put a lot of pressure you might uh cut the client or you might kind of burn uh the, the client with the razor so you want to avoid that usually uh actually uh, always 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 use some type of lubrication so in this case i use uh, a hot towel and then i added a little bit of shaving gel not too much just a little bit of it so just to make it easier for the client and also easier for you to you don't want to obviously you don't want to irritate the skin you don't want to cut the client you want the client to have a, a comfortable shave so you know just the little things how i said guys little things that uh, make you a better a better barber um that's I want to stress that because I feel like a lot of barbers are cutting corners nowadays just to finish faster because they want to cut faster and they're forgetting that you know barbering is an art you know and and um, and if you cut corners and you and what the things you need to do like you know like using the razor when when the skin is dry and things like that like just for a picture you know because I know sometimes people just do it for the picture just to create the line. Uh, that you see right there like the dead skin that's fine but you there's so many ways to achieve that line without irritating the skin because you don't want to have that line there and take a picture and then the, the skin is all red and then you're like oh man this is horrible so you know what i mean like just just be careful guys don't cut corners if you're trying to make it to the next level uh consistency of, on on technique is extremely important so anyways guys we're gonna clean out the back and the back i'm not gonna use the racer just because um, I feel like the, the skin was a little bit irritated just from the machine. So I'm not even going to go ahead and use the razor. I'm just going to continue cleaning it with the machine. My machines are not sharp. I don't really adjust my, my trimmers. Uh, just straight out of the box, to be honest with you guys. So, um, But in this case, you know, the skin was a little bit irritated on the back. So I'm not even going to use the razor. You know, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So here we uh, style the hair. Just after we blow dry it, we're using a little bit of product with dark hair i kind of like using more like a matte finish product just because uh, dark hair already has sh enough shine so i don't need to add more shine to it and that's it guys that's the haircut hope you guys enjoy it i think uh, it looks great it looks complete he looks completely different than he looked at the beginning and that's what it counts right so anyway guys thank you for uh don't forget to subscribe like it, and don't forget to vote guys vote for me thank you so much guys i'll see you in the next one take care